All right, guys, we're going to just have a little bit of fun with this. This um, was lent in by my good friend Josh. This is his Casio G-Shock GPRB 1000-1B. You can see it has an MSRP of $800, and I think a lot of them are actually selling at that. You get in the used market, and you can definitely find a deal. But um, these things are basically the maxed out loaded G-Shock. So it comes with a module number and a manual of uh, 3452. And this is just a quick reference guide. There's going to be way more information available online. But this thing has so much feature that even the tough solar can't keep up with it to the point where they actually had to develop a plug-in charging system. So you plug this into your computer and then you snap it on the back. It has like a... It goes this way. So there's a three-prong thing. See where the little red sensor thing is here? That's where this uh, this arm will go. So you just kind of snap it on in place like so. Um, and then it charges through the uh, backside. So I have not tried that. Uh, I'm not sure what it looks like when it does it or if it does anything or not. But um, I honestly haven't played around with this a ton. Um, I might connect it to my app here real quick and we can check out some of the, the features that way if the battery lasts long enough. But So you can go here. Um, you can see I had the, the old watch connected. Um, so you go here and we have, to, we have to find the watch. So there it is right there, the GPR B1000. So then you got to hold the, it, it tells you what to do. So you got to hold. You guys see that? So I got to hold the bottom left button down. That's what it's telling me to do. See, so it automatically just starts uh, setting it up. Now you can scroll through the options on here and um, get it to connect to. You didn't have to hold it down. I was just following. Um, so this is Josh's watch, so hopefully I'm not going to screw it up. but. I don't know if I'm connected. Okay, so there's the there's the guide and everything on there. So I don't know what else. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do online. Um, receive operation light. So I already know all that. That's the guide. Oh, it still wants to connect. So. Um, Maybe I'll do that towards the end or a separate video, but, or I can, you can go to there and you can connect. Okay, now it's, now it's doing it. So a little bit of a mess up there. Why, why that's doing that, um, size from here to here, you know, along here, you're looking at 56.5 millimeter. And then uh, if you could, you know, measure from here to here, like the uh, lug to lug would be like 61 millimeter. The thickness is about 20 and a half, and the weight is 144 grams, which is not super heavy. It's actually lighter than this um, Ecozilla I just got in. And for reference, like a Seiko Monster is like 170 something grams, something like that. So this guy's actually pretty light. So um, it's it's paired up with this now, so I'll, I'll have to unpair it before I send it back. But um, so you can do, this is way different than that um, square that I had. Um, you can do a bunch of GPS stuff. So um, I don't know that I really want to get involved with all that, but th this thing has like an insane amount of uh, options. So, you know, you can set the home time. That's very similar to the other square that I had and I showed you got all the alarms. Um, so then activity. So you can do your, you can, I think it'll track your route or something. I'm not even sure. And then you can log it all. So that's where a lot of those functions are going to like really kill the battery. And that's where you're going to have to like plug it in and charge it and everything. So I'm not going to get involved with that, but um, I don't want to mess with this too much. So we'll just go ahead and get out of that. So if you guys if you guys have ever used this, um, let me know if you, if if you liked it or not. Um, I'm not gonna 
Yeah, so you got to do a bunch of stuff. You got to like tap the map and set waypoints and all that stuff. So yeah, so it shows a map, kind of shows where I'm at basically. So now you guys can try to hunt me down or something. But so you can set waypoints. So anyway, um, I'm not gonna bog down on that. But so then we'll get out of this. So once you're, so you hit mode and then use this guy here, this rotating crown over here, and you can scroll through and you can do things that way too. So if you want stopwatch, you can push it and then to start it and stop it. There. And then reset it. Here, that's how you reset it. So anyway, um, it's pretty user friendly. Like I didn't read the manual or anything. I'm just kind of scrolling through and showing you guys some things. Um, you know, there's a compass option. So you can rotate it around. It'll still display the time and then you'll get your uh, direction and all that. You can hit mode and it'll pop you back to wherever you want to go. If you want to do an altimeter, um, you know, it gives you your it's very easy to read, it's very easy to use, um, so if you're looking for a watch that has basically every function you can possibly think of, this guy's going to have it, but it comes with a price and it comes with a size. So for comparison, I mean, you can put basically a G-Shock Square inside this thing. I mean, it is massive when it comes to that. I mean, this guy makes, um, I think I have one over here, let me go grab it. So you guys know these are kind of like bigger G-Shocks here, right? This G-Shock makes big G-Shocks look small, okay? I mean, it is a beast. So I'll pop it on my wrist so you guys can get a laugh. And then we'll... I know this video is going long and I'm talking a whole lot about nothing, but this isn't an instructional video. I'm just showing it, just showing it to you guys so you guys can see it. So it's massive. On my wrist, obviously, seven and a quarter wrist, it is massive, but it it wears fine, like it feels fine on wrist. It's not heavy, it doesn't feel weird. It looks weird, but it doesn't feel weird. It is crazy, that's how G-Shock is, because they're so light, and then the, the way they curve, you know, and just hug the wrist. So, I know it's a little dirty and everything, but there's the back, it has a ceramic back, low temp, LCD, Sapphire crystal. I mean this thing is loaded. It has the GPS function um, It I mean it's beyond Capable of doing whatever you guys think you want to do with it. It is an absolute monster So if you want like the beast of the beast of the G-Shocks Then this is the guy to get so You know all these other ones are really cool and they're fun and they're good colors and stuff like that But this thing is just straight business it just does everything so i think it would be a fun watch to own a fun watch to uh play around with um josh even offered to sell it to me but i'm like man i got too many watches i don't and i know i won't hardly ever wear it but i want to show you the light too the light on it is actually really good i mean the visibility on this thing is just you can't beat it i mean even in low light if you just if your eyes were adjusted to it, I can still read it. I don't even need the light. So, but I wanted to share it with you guys. It's, and it comes in, um, you know, for G-Shocks, it comes in fairly premium packaging. It comes in like a regular watch box and everything. It comes with um, all the literature and everything. And I'm sure there's manuals online because there's like this, uh, you know, you can scan that and you can get the full download the uh, information. It's got the carbon fiber band, so the band's going to last for a super long time. So, I don't know, super cool watch. I don't know if you guys uh, are into these or not, but um, you wear this thing for a couple days and it'll make these things feel like puny on your wrist. You know what I mean? Like totally easy to wear these guys. So, I'm going to toss this on wrist again. I know we're going long on this, but you guys got to see this on wrist again. It's absolutely awesome.
So there it is. It, it's super comfortable. I mean, like, no joke. The Ecozilla on wrist is actually not as comfortable as this. Because that thing, it wants to, um, it's so top heavy that when you put it on wrist, it just wants to fold over on you all the time. The G-Shock doesn't do that. It's like, it's light enough. <laughs> it doesn't, I, I know it's crazy, but it's kind of a cool crazy, you know what I mean? So, anyway guys, um, hopefully your week's going good. You can see it's Thursday. Um, one more day, we made it to Friday. And uh, G-Shocks, G-Shocks are pretty cool. So, including this one. I know it's ridiculous, it's cartoonish. But I could see where guys would actually use this and wear this. I mean, this thing is going to be indestructible. And it's going to, especially with all those waypoints and everything like that, you can, like, uh, you know, plot out courses and stuff like that. And you can do it right through your watch. So, pretty cool.